Hello everyone, welcome to day 9th of July Lead Code Challenge and today's question is longest increasing subsequence. Today is a very special day because I don't have to make any presentation and the reason being I have already solved this question in the past with two different approaches, one in order of n square complexity and other using a patient sort technique in n log n time complexity. So if you have missed any of those videos, don't worry going further in this video I have, I have attached the core snippets from those videos and you can refer to this video for the solution for both of the time complexities so also i would be very happy if you are able to solve this question by yourself uh, assuming that you have already seen those videos and this will act as a revision mechanism for you guys in case you have missed the n log n patient sort technique don't worry it will be a new and a very pleasing concept for you guys so do give it a shot moving on to the previous videos and i have depicted the russian dolls here i think we all have seen these dolls in our childhood days and let's get started so even before starting the actual algorithm for this let me just take a step back and introduce you to the longest increasing sequence problem in i hope you may have done such problems in the past you may not have uh, but don't worry i'll explain uh, this problem first and then we'll move on to the russian doll problem in this problem we are given an array and we need to count the length of the longest increasing sequence Let's understand the approach by a very simple example. It's not a very tough problem. It's one of the typical problems of dynamic programming. We have 1, 3, 2 and 4. And what is the length of the longest increasing sequence? Please note that in, in this, the sequence is asked not the substring or the... So what would be the longest increasing subsequence in this problem? It would be 1, 3 and 4. And how we will solve it? We'll solve it by dynamic programming approach. We'll assign an array and we'll initialize the dp array with one because independently if you treat them as independent uh, elements then the longest increasing subsequence would definitely be of length one for example if we have 10 9 and 8 then the length of longest increasing subsequence is one if you can treat any of them independently the length would be one so how will you solve this problem we'll take two loops one starting from i equals to zero going up till the length and then we'll have another loop starting from the 0th index going up till i. So let's start the iteration and I'll tell you, uh, I'll explain the db formula that I have stated here. So i is 0 in this case. So a j would be less than i, which won't be the case. And we will skip to the next, next, next iteration. Then i becomes 1. So i comes here and j would be equal to 0 array element of i is 3 and element of j is 1 so this condition is satisfied and dp of uh, 1 this index would be equal to dp of uh, 1 which is 1 itself comma dp of j plus 1 because you actually found one right comparison the valid comparison because 3 is greater than 1 so 3 uh, 3 is greater than 1 that is a valid uh, increasing sequence so we'll update the value whatever the value is stored at dp of j plus 1 so dp of j in this case is dp of 0 plus 1 so dp of 0 is 1 and 1 plus 1 becomes 2 so this value becomes 2 and we'll move on to the next iteration and what is the sequence so far it is 1 comma 3 I'm writing the sequence as well and next we have 2 we move on to the next iteration to i comes here and let's start the iteration uh, dp of uh, j is less than uh, dp of i uh, because 1 is uh, less than 2 which makes absolute sense so this formula is again true so dp of 2 would be equal to dp of 2 equal to math dot max uh, dp of 2 which is 1 comma dp of 0 plus 1 so that's again 2 so we'll update this value to 2 and the sequence is something like this 1 comma 2 
and next we have next iteration of j and j is dp of j is 3 and dp of i is 2 which doesn't satisfy this equation so we will reject that case and move for the next iteration so i becomes i goes to the next value and let's start the iteration dp of j is 0 uh, 4 is greater than 1 which makes absolute sense so this formula is again applied and we will have 1 comma 1 plus 1 which is again 2 so dp of 3 is maximum of these two values which becomes 2 so this is the first value uh, 2 comma 1 which is 2 so and the sequence is 1 comma 4 let's move ahead and then we have i moves to the next position this position and here uh, the, again the condition is satisfied 4 is greater than 3 so we will use the, this formula again so there here the value becomes 2 comma dp of 1 uh, dp of j that is 1 that is 2 so 2 plus 1 becomes 3 so maximum of these values is 3 so this gets updated to 3 and the sequence is something like this 1 comma 3 comma 4 and let's move on to the next iteration we get j becomes uh, 2 and it points to the second position uh, which is 2 itself and again this condition is satisfied because 4 is greater than 2 so we'll use this formula and here we'll apply maximum of 3 comma 2 plus 1 which is again 3 so max of 3 is 3 so this value remains same and the other sequence could be 1 comma 2 comma 4 so there are two sequence that are possible 1 comma 3 comma 4 and 1 comma 2 comma 4 and the length is maximum across the complete dp which is 3 in this case sorry i missed uh, this valid sequence as well but as we went through the example uh, we investigated how this could be another possible answer we will extend the same approach for solving the russian doll problem and the time complexity of this approach is order of n square and the space complexity is order of n ho oh, oh. ho eventually i had to make one slide for you guys i'm still not finished moving on to the n log n solution however there exists a very nice way of doing the same thing in order of n log n a better complexity and i thought of sharing that same approach with you guys so moving on to longest increasing subsequence lead code 300 and let me just take a pen here and let's get started so uh, even before understanding the concept let's just talk about uh, our childhood where uh, we must have we must have played solitaire as a game so this was a favorite pastime on the windows laptop when we were young in 9, 7th and 8th or 10th standard. So I hope you remember the rules of this game. And one of the rule was can only place lower value card in each column. For example, uh, what all cards can be placed below 10 are the lower value cards. 8 can be placed, 6 can be placed, 5 can be placed. So only lower value cards are allowed to be placed then the current value that is held in that column remember this rule and we'll use the same rule to solve the longest increasing subsequence problem so let's get started with it and let's take the same example that is specified in the question on lead code and this is the sequence of numbers that are given to us so let's get started the first element is 10 and since the element is 10 and there is no column created we will place 10 as the starting of the new column and next we have 9 uh, since 9 is lower than the uh, current value held in that column so we will place 9 here in the same column let's move on for the next iteration we get 2 and this time the value is lower than 9 again so we will place 2 here simply Let's move on to the next iteration and this time we get 5. 5 being a higher value than 2, you can't place it in the same column. So we'll create a new column there and we get 5 as the beginning of a new column. 
let's move ahead and then we get 3 so this time we have 3 and 3 is lower than 5 so where are you gonna place it we'll place it in the same column as 5 next we have 7 7 is lower is greater than 3 that means you need to create a new column for this and let's move ahead in the iteration then we get 101 and 101 is again higher than 7 therefore we'll create a new column and next we have 18 18 is lower than 101 that means we'll place it in the same column as 101 and what is the length of the longest subsequence the length of the longest subsequence would be equal to the number of columns that you have created and which is nothing but 4 so 4 is the length of longest increasing subsequence and what are the possible uh, combinations there are multiple combinations that are possible one of them is 2 3 7 18 the other one could be 2 3 7 1 0 1 the other one could be 2 5 7 1 0 1 and 2 5 7 18 so uh, the area of interest is length of the longest increasing subsequence not the sequence itself which can be calculated uh, by the length of columns that we have created and which in this case is 4 uh, this ki kind of sorting algorithm is known as patient sort and let me just show that to you and this patient sort algorithm is a very famous sorting al technique for solving longest increasing subsequence problem I am attaching two links uh, please go through uh, these documentations these are very helpful in understanding and building the concept now the question arises how are we doing this in n log n rather than n square so uh, for this we'll be using a BST implementation and java provides a binary search tree implementation via an interface known as tree set so tree set has a property that you can remove add elements to it in order of log n instead of order of n so we'll be using the same concept to solve this question today and uh, keep in mind that addition and removal of any element from the tree set takes a complexity of order of log n not order of n so let's get started so the first element that we have is 10 and we'll simply add it in our tree set looks great and next element is 9 the first thing that we are going to do is to compare whether there exists a higher value in the tree set than the current value that we are currently handling which is 9 so there exists a higher value in the tree set which is 10 9 is lower than 10 so we what we are going to do we'll replace this value from the tree uh, tree set we'll remove it and add 9 to the tree set so 9 gets added to the tree set and 10 gets removed from the binary search tree that internally tree set is creating let's move on to the next iteration next we have 2 and the, what we are going to check we will check whether there exists a higher or a equal value then the current value that is into consideration which is 2 tree set has a higher value 9 what we are going to do we will remove the value 9 from the tree set and add 2 to the tree set so 2 gets added let's move on to the next iteration then we have 5 what we are going to do we will check whether a value higher than 5 exists in the tree set or not it doesn't exist we will simply add 5 to the tree set looks great and let's move on to the next iteration we get 3 what we are going to do we will check whether a higher value exists in the tree set than the current value it does exist which is 5 what so we will remove 5 from the tree set and add 3 there now tree set has 2 and 3 let's move on to the next iteration we have 7 and we will check whether there exists a higher value than 7 in the tree set it is not there 
we'll simply add 7 in the tree set let's move on to the next iteration and we have 101 we'll check whether a value higher than 101 exists in the tree set it is not there we'll simply add it in the tree set let's move on to the next iteration and we have 18 we'll check whether a value higher than 18 exists in the tree set it does exist we'll remove it and add 18 to the tree set in the end what all values are there 2 3 7 and 18 what is the size of the tree set the size of the tree set is 4 which is our answer and we also have another possible logical solution 2 3 7 and 18 which is is in the increasing longest increasing subsequence of the input array i hope this concept is clear to you we use tree set for handling uh, and creating the bst otherwise you have to write it by yourself and let's move on to the coding part the first thing that we are going to do is to define a tree set of type generic type integer set and let's call it bst because internally a bst is created new tree set and let's iterate over all the elements of nums the input array the first thing that we are going to do is to check whether there exists a higher or a equal value than the current value in the bst so higher or equal value and tree set has a ceiling method which gives us a higher or an equal value than the value that you are currently operating on we pass nums to it if higher or equal is equal equal to null that means there doesn't exist any such element we'll simply add the current element in the bst otherwise we'll remove the current element from the bst the higher element from the bst and add the current element to the bst in the end we'll simply return bst dot size let's try to run this code looks good and let me just submit it accepted i hope you understood this logic and thanks for watching the video hope you enjoyed it the time complexity of uh, solving this algorithm is order of n log n and the space complexity is order of n because bst can take the maximum size of n and uh, removal and addition in the BST or the tree set takes a complexity of log n.